Fellow Nigerians, my name is Dr. Haruna Bakogoro from Kaduna State. With the state of things that's happening in the nation, it calls for an urgent turnaround. For so many years, we have put our trust in politicians and they have failed us. We've trusted different political parties thinking that they are going to help us, but instead of things getting better, it went from bad to worse. Corruption was just too much. Then Boko Haram virtually took over many local governments in the Northeast. The cry became national. We needed change. There was a coming together of different political parties to form one party so that they can unseat President Jonathan because people were tired of the corruption. And who was going to be a better candidate than Muhammadu Buhari, because when he was a military ruler, together with the Diagon, it was zero tolerance against corruption. Everybody was expecting to see an end to corruption, an end to insurgents, an end to terrorism. We were all waiting full of expectation. We were given months under which corruption would be done away with. I was one of the people that believed that the coming of Buhari will move Nigeria forward. Today, everywhere is full of insecurity. People are being kidnapped everywhere. The Nigerian army that used to be so strong led the Ekomok army to bring peace in other West African nations. But now we don't have peace in our own nation. The army is paralyzed. The terrorists have more sophisticated weapons than even the Nigerian army. The police are rendered ineffective. Today, people that were found to be corrupt, instead of being prosecuted, they would just be moved to another ministry or be given another appointment. People that were in opposition parties found to be guilty, if they can just cross carpet and become members of the ruling party, then their sins are forgiven. There's currently a brain drain. Most of the talented people in the nation are leaving and they are going abroad, doctors are leaving, scientists are going, and people that are innovators that could have turned the situation of Nigeria around, they are not in the nation. Our leaders will travel abroad and enjoy all these facilities, these amenities, all these services that are provided out there. Electricity is not a luxury, it is a necessity. How are we going to operate a nation without electricity? The civil war ended so many years ago. What are we still doing, clinging and holding on to what happened in the past? And if we say we are one Nigeria, why can't we accept our brothers and our sisters from the East? It is so vital and it's so important that every tribe come together, irrespective of where you live. Hey, Northerners, it's time for us to wake up. Let's stop voting based on selfish sentiments. They keep deceiving us. Where do we have almajiris? They are made to be beggars on the street. Are you not tired of this recycled politician? They have stolen enough. It's time to raise up a new generation of leaders, not politicians. Use the power you have, the power of choice. Use your PVC and vote correctly. Don't vote based on your tribe. Don't vote based on your religion. Vote a person of integrity, a person that thinks about you. Don't be selfish. Think Nigeria. Don't think your pocket. Don't think your tummy. Don't think your own private agenda. This thing is about corporate building of one nation. We can work together in spite of the differences and build a strong nation where our children's children will be proud to live in. 2023, we must not repeat the same mistake. We need a leader that will come and put agriculture where it should be so we can start producing for ourselves and start exporting. I speak to you, my northern brothers and sisters. Let's keep aside this sentiment. It is time. Let's vote a person that has our interests at heart. A new Nigeria is possible. I believe Peter will be teaming up together with Ahmed Yusuf. They have what it takes to move Nigeria forward. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you. And God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Bye-bye.